channel i want to take this opportunity to thank all of you that have been coming back to watch my videos i know how important time is to our life but you always come back to support me thank you and god bless you for the new ones you are welcome i talk of relationships fashion beauty and life experiences in general so please subscribe today and now so that you don't miss the good content i put on here and you will never regret at all <laughs> as the title says not every broke man is poor yes and never look down on a person just because he or she is poor or less privileged as you are because we don't know the past of this person and we also don't know the future of this person we don't know the hassles of this person and where the hassles will bring this person in the future it's only god that knows all so please be humble all people are equal to god and that is how i see things as long as you are breathing, as long as you have the energy, if you put your dreams into action, then you can change your life to what you want to be. So this brings me to an incident that happened to me in the past. I went to visit a friend and this friend had another friend, a girl that was coming. And when this girl arrived, she started explaining us what she encountered on her way to come to the place. Then she was like, I met a girl in the bus. This girl was selling products, but she was trying to convince me to buy the products. And when I looked at this girl, the way she was dressed, <laughs> she was really, really confident of the way she was dressed and the way she was talking. But when I looked at her suit, she was wearing a suit, that suit she had joined the dresses from three three different <laughs> used stores like she took the pant she bought the pant to this store and bought the shirt to another store and bought another different used store to get the whole look i looked at her and i laughed and i did not even bother to buy anything that she was selling you know but when i listened to that i really felt so bad guys because yes even if she joined the dresses from different used stores she is still dressed up she is not naked i felt bad and you know what happened i had to leave the place immediately because it really made me angry because she looked down on this girl that was selling products in the bus. It is really bad. So let me start our today's story. I haven't started, guys. Now let me start. <laughs> One day I was going back home after work and I used to live in a place where I needed to take a ferry to cross and arrive where I used to live. So I arrived at the port, waited for the ferry. When the ferry arrived, it starts taking the cars. Then afterwards, it takes the bicycles, the motorbike, the disabled people. Then it takes the people who had no cars, just like me. But there was this behavior that when the ferry starts to take people, then people run a lot. I used to run to, <laughs> I don't know why, run a lot to get inside the ferry. So that was the behavior. And I don't know now, <laughs> but that was it. <laughs> so as we were running to get inside the ferry, this is our behavior, <laughs> like I said. In front of me, there was this man holding a box. They hold, some of them hold here, put on the head and some of them put here you know they put here but inside here there is sodas there is water there is snacks a lot of things so you find that the box is so full and when they finish selling they go and full again this place has a lot of business small business people so this guy was in front of me and we were running guys suddenly this guy's box fell onto the front mirror of the car 
which was on the line inside the ferry. Everyone was like, oh my God. And the front mirror guys broke. It broke because the box was heavy. This guy started crying. He knelt down, but everyone was like, what? So, what is going to happen? Who is in the car? So everyone was like, who is in the car? So when people looked, there was a woman inside and everyone was like, hey, this guy today is going to sleep in lockup. The way women have no heart, today is trouble. Oh my God, everyone started feeling sorry for the man. The man knelt down, he was crying and telling the woman that I am sorry. So the woman opened the door, the car door and went out. The boy or the man, not the boy, because he was something like 26 of age, so the man was crying, he was in tears, begging this woman that please forgive me, it was not in my intention, please forgive me, I don't know how I can pay you because I don't have the money, yes I have the money but it isn't even enough, even if you put me in prison, I won't be able to pay and I don't, I don't have anyone that can help me pay to buy the mirror. So guys it was something that everyone was looking at and wanting to know what is next so this girl looked at this man crying begging and what she did she just told the man that you stand up stand up and take your things and go continue with your business just go did she just forgive him? <laughs> People could not believe it, guys. <laughs> they thought that there was going to be trouble. Maybe she would call the police and happen a lot of drama. But it wasn't the case. The woman forgave the man and the man just went his way. And the day ended, I returned home. I was so happy and everyone was like, yes she is a good woman she is good she has a forgiving heart and it made everyone happy that time passed by and one day this lady that had forgiven the man at the port was coming from the airport it was a little bit late around 10 at night so she had a flat tire when she had a flat tire unfortunately she stopped but she was not supposed to stop because this place, it has this history. The hooligans put the long nails, guys, long like this on the road so that people who are coming from the airport with tourists, if they get the flat tire and they don't know the history of that place, they stop. When they stop, that is when these robbers starts to open the car and rob whatever is inside or even make something bad to people inside the car so she stopped when she stopped they were happy guys they clapped like yes we got her so they all came and surrounded the car and fortunately that man that this woman saved was there you know, these people, especially the men that does these small businesses along the roads or at the port, some of them sleep out and not all are good. Some are good, some are bad. So this man used to sleep out and he saw the incident. He did not know that it was the same woman that had forgiven her in the past. So he came just to save the situation. So when he arrived, he started fighting them that you guys stop what are you doing so they stabbed the man and due to the noise of the fighting people had to come so when they came the robbers had to run but the man was injured so that is when this woman went out of the car and when she looked at the man it was the same man that she had forgiven in the past 
she was like, God, what's this? <laughs> what a coincidence. So they took the man to the hospital and the lady came by and they started treating him. The lady started frequently going to the hospital to check how the man is going on the situation, his health. So they started talking, like becoming friends, and she asked him where he is coming from. He told her and asked her about the family, the life, and all that. That is when the man started opening up and told her the whole story. Like they were born to, and the parents died. The parents were well off but all the properties, all the wealth that the parents had, the uncle took them and threw away this man. Only remained a sister, but a sister isn't like living good with the uncle. They still mistreat the sister, but the sister had no choice because she had nowhere to go. So. This woman was really sad about the story, very, very sad. And it's, they, they continued to be friends and he was out of the hospital. He continued his work of selling water and snacks. So this well-off woman started liking the man just because he was very kind, a good man and in a situation that he is not supposed to be. So the girl decided to go and talk to the father about the whole situation of the uncle of the poor boy. So when the father listened to the story, he told her that, don't worry, we are going to help this man so that he gets everything that he had lost, everything that belongs to him, he is going to get them, him and the sister. The father of the woman went and took an advocate and opened a case to the uncle of the poor man. They ran the case and guess what? The man won. Yeah! <laughs> he won the case and got everything that he was supposed to get from the parents. So his life changed and he opened a big business. He took the sister to school and he also started studying business because he was into business so his life changed completely their friendship continued to be strong and stronger day after day to an extent they decided to start dating guys how beautiful and they dated for some time afterwards they decided to get married Actually, the time they were getting married, it is the time that I was coming to Italy. <laughs> but last time I talked to my friend who was the neighbor and asked her about that lady. She told me that they have two beautiful babies and they are living happily. It is a happily ever after story, guys. I really love this couple because they are two kind people. Both of them are kind. Both of them are human. Both of them know what life is. So this is really important. Never look down on a person just because a person is poor. You don't know what is next. You don't know, maybe this person might help you in the future. Even if this person won't help you, there is no need to be rude to a person just because of the situation this person is in. If you are humble, you are kind, you are human, you never look down on a person, then you will live a very happy, positive life and God will bring a lot of blessings into your life. Thank you so much for watching this video till now. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy it, and comment what you think, guys. What do you think of this story? 
Also, watch my other videos too. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you so much. You